कांग्रेस की अंतरिम अध्यक्ष सोनिया गांधी ने रविवार को उदयपुर में चिंतन शिविर के समापन सत्र को संबोधित किया आपको बता दें कि इस दौरान उन्होंने भारत जोड़ो यात्रा शुरू करने की बात कही है उन्होंने कहा कि हम महात्मा गांधी के जयंती के अवसर पर 2 अक्टूबर के दिन कन्याकुमारी से लेकर कश्मीर तक भारत जोड़ो यात्रा की शुरुआत करेंगे देश के सभी युवा और सभी नेता यात्रा में शामिल होंगे सोनिया गांधी ने कहा कि जिलों में जन जागरण अभियान 15 जून से शुरू किया जाएगा इसी के साथ उन्होंने युवा वरिष्ठ समेत तमाम पार्टी नेताओं का आभार जताया और कहा कि हम इस परिस्थिति से उभरेंगे हम जीतेंगे हम जीतेंगे यही हमारा दृढ़ निश्चय है और यही हमारा नव संकल्प है उन्होंने कहा कि नव संकल्प के लिए लिए गए फैसलों को लागू किया जाएगा अपने संबोधन में सोनिया गांधी ने मुख्यमंत्री अशोक गहलोत की जमकर तारीफ की और कहा कि सीएम गहलोत की ओर से अपने परिवार की तरह पूरा ख्याल रखा गया शिविर में तमाम बेहतर व्यवस्थाएं की गई और शानदार डिनर भी दिया Beginning, beginning, beginning on Gandhi Jayanti this year, all of us, young and old, young and old, will participate in it. Seniors will have to find ways to accommodate seniors like me. <laughs> in this on how to uh, easily participate in the yatra without having to run out of breath and God knows what else. The yatra, the yatra is to strengthen the bonds of social harmony that under severe stress and to preserve the foundational values of our constitution that are under assault and also to highlight the day-to-day -day concerns or crores of our people as Rahulji has mentioned in his speech. Meanwhile, phase two of the district level Jan Jagran Abhiyan that had been launched earlier will resume a month later on the 15th of June. Very hot time, but it will. The extensive campaign will highlight economic issues, especially the growing uh, unemployment and intolerable price rise that is destroying livelihood. A compact task force will be set up to drive the process of internal reforms that are essential and that have been discussed in different groups here at Udaipur. These reforms will focus on the 2024 Lok Sabha polls, will cover all aspects of the organization including structure, rules for appointments to party post, communications and publicity, outreach, finances and election management. The composition of the task force will be notified in the next two, three days. I have also decided to have an advisory group drawn from the CWC that would meet regularly under my chairpersonship uh, chair to discuss and deliberate upon political issues and challenges before our party. 
Of course, we do have the CWC that meets from time to time, and that will continue, hopefully a little more often than it, is, it does normally. Now, the new group is not, however, a collective decision-making body, but will help me get the benefit of the vast experience of senior colleagues. It, too, will be notified very soon. Throughout these three days, you have also had the opportunity to get to know each other, to meet and interact with each other. And as for myself and many others, I had the opportunity, I was able to sit through all six groups and listen to some of the speakers. Now, I want to end with a personal note, and that is last night I came away from the dinner so graciously hosted by Ashok Eloji, feeling that I had spent the evening with my family. <laughs> and I, and I, my larger family. And I, I was very touched when some of younger colleagues, guests and colleagues, share the same view. And so I hope, I very much hope, that this is the spirit in which we will disperse from this Chintan Shivit. So my friends and colleagues, let me, let me wish you all the very best. We will overcome. We will overcome. We will overcome. That, 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 that is, that is our determination. That is our